The Raiders kick off the 2021 NFL season taking on the Washington football team. Yes, they still don't have a name, still just called football team. But starting quarterback Derek Carr, last year this time, he was the Raiders starting quarterback. Mariota was the backup. Uh, things are different this year. Mariota unsurping Carr last season. Josh Jacobs with a nice run there on first down. Now a nice pass here to Tyrell Williams. And that's going to be good enough for a first down. Then after that, first and 10 again. Mariota drops back to pass. That's almost picked off. A little bit inaccurate on that one. Second and 10. Going to be a handoff to Jacobs again. And some nice defense right there by this Washington team. So now Mariota drops back to pass. Can find Darren Waller. Not able to get anything after the catch. They're able to wrap up. But the Raiders, they went for a lot last year. They're going to keep doing it here. Mariota going to make a good decision here. Hunter Renfro, though, for whatever reason, comes back across the line to gain. John Gruden would challenge it, but it would be ruled turnover on downs. So here's Derek Carr finding Jared Cook. Carr looking for some revenge here. Here's a handoff to Darius Geis. Yes, he's still on this football team for some reason. Then after that, another first and ten. Empty set. Carr drops back. Short step. Just checks it right down right away to Jarrett Cook. Doesn't even let anything develop downfield. Second and inches. Play action here. Then here's Malik Collins able to get in on a hit there, forcing that to be a poor throw out of bounds. So now third and inches. Here it comes again. Here comes a run. And on the Raiders' defense... I was a little confused right there. The Raiders' defense sort of just rallied right to the football right there. That would leave MVP quarterback Tress Way to kick a three-point field goal as the football team takes the lead. But then right after that, out would come the Raiders again. Darren Waller with a big play over the middle. Now first and ten again. Mariota has all day to throw. Going to find Jacobs, who's going to get brought down at the 16. So then after that, first and ten. Hand off to Jacobs. He fights his way through there for about a gain around six. So now second and four. Jacobs again fighting his way. That's like a gain of two. And they come back again. Now third and one. Jacobs, look at that hole that opens up. That is David Bloomberg. Rookie. Rookie starting guard there. After Richie Incognito retired before the start of the season. He was a late round pick, but a bit of a diamond in the rough as he cleared a nice hole there for Josh Jacobs. Nice promising start to his career. So here's another run here to Darius Geis. He gets brought down right away. He's going to pick up a couple yards right there round two, second and eight. Another handoff here. This is, I believe, to Antonio Gibson. And he gets brought down after picking up six. So now third and three. And look at Malik Collins. Look at the jump he gets right off the line, able to swim around the offensive lineman and get right into the backfield and blow that run up before before Geis even had his hands on the football he was back there so another poor outing for the Washington football team there then look at this throw or this throw and catch from Carr to Waller Waller coming down with that one nice catch from Darren Waller so now another handoff here to from Mariota to Jacobs who's able to fight forward for around 10 yards picking up the first down so then after that, first and ten again. Mariota, play action, pump there. And Jacobs, look at that. The way he's able to change directions on that run. They pretty much had him dead to rights, but he's able to change directions and go around. I believe that was Chase Young. And then here's Darren Waller again making another crazy catch. What a game from him so far. Second quarter now, second and eight. Mariota going to find Jacobs here for the first down. So now it makes it first and goal. Come back third and goal at the ten. Mariota going to throw this one up to Waller, who's able to come down with the football. Touchdown, Raiders. Look at Darren Waller, able to outstretch right there and get that ball. So now the Washington football team, they've driven down the field. And another run here to Gibson. They get sort of blown up, this time by Malik Collins again. So second and 11, Malik Collins right there, but I believe that is Jeff Heath blowing up that run. So now 3rd and 13. Washington football team starting to go backwards. They need to hurry up and get a name because this is stupid to say. As Maurice Hurst checks up with Derek Carr saying, How's the winters here in Maryland? So now Mariota 
Going to throw this football here to Robert Foster, offseason pickup. And he's already making an impact right there. Second and 10. Mariota again steps back to throw. Going to find Henry Ruggs after his amazing season he had last year. Over 2,000 yards receiving. Now Jacobs fighting one man off. Fighting forward. Gets brought down. But not before picking up the first down. So now second and eight. Mariota looks. Goes deep here to Robert Foster. Able to come down with it at the four. Nice play right there. Robert Foster able to get behind the defense. There was two guys on him at, at that. First and goal. Mariota going to find, I believe that's Henry Ruggs, back of the end zone. Touchdown Raiders, his first of the season. So now 21-3. to three. They'd get the ball back here. Another nice throw here from Mariota. Drops that one right into Ruggs' hands as he's able to get out of bounds. So now first and 10. Mariota... That one looks like it should have been picked off. They're going to call defensive pass interference on that one. So many bodies right there. A lot of contact. Sidney Jones getting called for the DPI. Then here's Darren Waller, who gets popped right there. Right down at the two. So Mariota comes back. Throws this one into the end zone. Terrell Williams able to come down with it. And the Raiders extend this lead even more, make it 28-3 as they are just going off here on this Washington secondary. Very easy throw for Mariota to make. Tara Williams able to come down with it. That, that's as simple as it is, folks. So here are the, is the Washington football team still running the football at this point in the game. There's Chauncey Henson, first career tackle for him, first round pick for this Raiders team. They expect a lot of big things out of him moving forward, already getting the starting nod. So now third and five. Carr throws this one up. And this one is going to be caught, brought down, and in for a touchdown. Trayvon Mullen getting absolutely burnt on that play by Robinson. Not sure what happened on that one. Uh, you know, there was no safety help over the top for sure, but Trayvon Mullen as a number one corner. You just can't be getting burnt like that. Especially when you know you don't have the safety help. I mean, that is about... He had about a good three to four yards on him. So, now 28 to 10. Mariota going to come out here. Pass this one to Henry Ruggs. Ruggs gets brought down. But then he would come up hurt here. Nothing serious. He would come back in the game later. So now Mariota again. Going to run out here. Going to find Josh Jacobs on the play. Chase Young with the tackle. And down would go Josh Jacobs. He would leave the game with an injury. So here would come Jalen Richard. He's able to get in here, have a nice run, pick up the first down. After that, it'd be more, uh, it would be less Jalen Richard and a little bit more rookie Darren Moss. But here, look at this great throw by Mariota, able to put it where only Terrell Williams can get it. And the Raiders, they're back in business now. Mariota gonna find Robert Foster again, making a real impact on this game. In his first appearance with this Raiders squad, Mariota over 300 yards. Here's Darren Moss, his first handoff, his first carry of his career, goes for three yards. Now second and goal. Mariota, this is a poor throw. Sidney Jones gets a little bit of redemption with the interception. I believe he was going for Brian Edwards there. That ball needed to be drifted out a little bit more towards the back of the end zone as opposed to sort of the front of it. Not a good throw right there. So now fourth quarter, Derek Carr looking, has all day to throw, just going to check down to his tight end. Powell, I believe his name is, rookie. And he has, this is going to be sort of his quarter right here. Here's Carr again, going to find his running back, I believe that's Antonio Gibson. Now Carr again, going to step back to throw, first and ten. Throws this one to Powell and he just walks right into the end zone, dragging a Raider with him. Into the end zone, touchdown, Powell, his first career touchdown reception. So now Mariota going to come back and find Darren Waller. Saying, hey, your tight end's pretty nice, but we have a pretty good one too here. So now after that, after 11 yards on that reception, second and six, Mariota going to step back, throw here. Going to find Terrell Williams again. Going to try to make something happen after the catch. He gets brought down at the 40. So now second and nine, Mariota steps back. Going to find Darren Waller again on these drag routes. So tough to beat. Size and speed of Waller makes him so tough. But then look at this. Henry Ruggs gets behind the defense. 
Nice throw right there. Perfect throw, actually. Able to drag the feet in for the touchdown. Second receiving touchdown of the day. Henry Ruggs, he saw that touchdown scored. He knew his team needed him. He comes back in here and able to make it 35-17. to Here's Powell again on in the end zone with the touchdown reception. But it wouldn't matter as the Raiders are going to come out on top here. 35-24. to Marcus Mariota, 413 yards, 4 touchdowns, 1 interception. Derek Carr, 388 yards, 3 touchdowns on this one. So that game was fun. I lied. I said I was going to take a break, but then I just felt like making a video. I know I had like two days off, and I felt like making a video for you guys, especially in this series. So here's one. Uh, we get an upgrade here for Trent Brown. Uh, plus one pass block finesse, pass block power. That's good. Might be one of the last upgrades he gets in his career. Um, Maurice Hurst, who I think should have got X Factor, but I'm not complaining. We're just going to go with Run Stopper here again. Uh, plus one Awareness, Block Shedding, Play Wreck, and plus one Tackle. Uh, that's a good upgrade, I suppose. Chauncey Henson, who uh, mid-game I decided I decided to make him just a full starter. Carl Nassib can go to the bench. Um, Henson has a lot of nice speed to him. I didn't show too much of me playing with him, but uh, I think he's going to be a real uh, good player for us going forward. And like I said, the positive with that hidden dev trait, depending on what that is, we can mold him however we want if it's, you know, we can really mold him nicely if it's above star. If it's superstar or superstar X Factor, we're going to get a lot of XP with him. So that's really nice going forward. Punter upgrade as well. And then we get an upgrade here for Marcus Mariota. I wasn't sure what to go with here. I thought about strong arm, um, but I decided to go to get his other accuracy ratings up a bit. And uh, we get plus one awareness, plus one throw accuracy deep, and plus two throw accuracy short. So maybe we'll stop getting those balls that are just sort of high for no reason. When we come back next episode, we'll take on Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles, who are 1-0 at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas as we uh, continue our NFC East tour. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Peace.